Welcome to the Mr. The Real The Real podcast with Mike Kel Stevens, where I keep it all the way real to real. My adrenaline, I will not lose. Battlefield certified, I done paid dues. My adrenaline, my drive non-stop. Street game battle test to spread my name block to block. My adrenaline, rise to the top. Born bread champion, cream of the crop. My adrenaline, push around the clock get dough smoke throw swagged out top notch let's go 2023 i am here to blow the podcast game out the frame everything i speak go to the gram the top the tube and check my receipts i'm cashing in 25 years blood set tears i went from mug shots to head shots i'm talking about super match to set boom 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 Boom, 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 boom. All that. Yo, that's the realest intro. I love that intro. My man ER to my left. You know how we do. Um, This is an amazing episode because it is actually, what's this, the 24th. Yeah, I'm catching the 24th and the 24th of November. So yesterday was Thanksgiving. But for those of you that know me, Every day is Thanksgiving because I'm genuinely and sincerely thankful every day. So I live every day like it's Thanksgiving, like it's my birthday, like it's a holiday. I don't let the holiday make me. I make the holiday. So, again, it is the day after Thanksgiving and we are here live. Y'all been away for a minute and I've been getting smashed. Um, Yo, shout out to everybody. That really is rocking with you, with your man, because people have been like, Michael, what's up with the show? Like, what's going on? Like, what's the deal? Whew, man. So the last show was August 9th. So much has taken off since August 9th in the right way. The show is actually doing amazing. It's doing super Cali docious, all those good words. It's like it's really, really good because what what happens is this. The show has always been carried by chronicles, receipts, content, material. So this is a 25-year show that covers content and material. So as I started recording the shows, 1 through 10, just like I expressed to y'all in the last update update show, I was cutting y'all short. Because the more I started digging into my content and my material, my receipts, and the more I thought I had it all all on point, because I am a one one man army, it wasn't, it just, it wasn't, it just wasn't coming to coming together the way the show really was supposed to have come together for for y'all. Because I thought I could pull it off like 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 everything, everything I've done since ninety seven ninety eight, which is the open call for Belly, I've been doing it my way, Frankie baby, I'm Frankie baby. This has literally been my my way the whole throw. The whole throw has been my, my way. I've not done any anything but did it their way as far as following the um the protocol and the parameters and you know, but I've done it my my way with style, with swag, with with like ego, with all that. Like swag, you know, like I said, just just me, man. I've been I've been being me since day one. So everything you get in from the Mr. Real to Real podcast, from my my autobio documentary, Mr. Real to Real. It's just all it's all me. So anyway, I started getting more into the content. I started dealing with dealing with the camcorder tapes and I started going through the camcorders tapes and really, you know, started getting into the the more digitizing side of everything and just really, really getting into my computers and getting into my emails and I've been seeing like the 25 years is there because I still have my same email that I had from the beginning. Um, I have a couple emails, but I still have my original e- email. So all my original startup uh, content is there. Everything is there. All my material is there. So again, the show ain't really go nowhere. It's just been getting better and better and better. And then myself, man, I just been, my hands are full. I got a lot going on right now. You know what I'm saying? And even like right now, I just got back from the East Coast on um, what was it? Let me see. Uh, let me see what day I initially got back. I just got back, man, cause you know I love Cali. 
never Cali is gonna be there forever. It's like my it's it's like my home. I love it. Killer Cali forever. But yeah, man, um, I don't know if y'all notice it, but I know some of y'all do that know me. I'm a little un- under the weather. I caught a little little little, little, little bug because I came back. And when I got back, um, I don't know what happened. Like, something happened, man. So, I got back from the east. Let me see. Wait, I'm going to the airport, to the airport flick. Because um, I saw one of my, one of my mans at the, at the airport. Shout out to the uh, HBCU stoner. I repeat, y'all go um go to all your social media sites and check out HBCU stoner. Shout out to to my man at the airport. You know what I'm saying? I knew real, real always recognized real. As soon as I seen the guard, I'm like, hold up, that's you. And he was like, hold up, that's you. I'm like, yeah. So we ended up making it happen. And um, that was definitely a beautiful moment. So I'm going through this phone right right now. So I got back from the east on November 13th. I'm looking at the airport flick. And um and it's straight up like uh on the 13th I got I got back from the from the, from the east coast cuz um I I get into the whole east coast trip in, in in a minute, but um yeah, I got back on the 13th and somehow by the 16th I don't know, I was just sick. I just caught like a bug and I've been trying to shake it and um and it's just I don't know, I've been I've been taking a lot of cold tablets, drinking the liquid. Yeah, yeah, that's that's it right there. Yeah, that's 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 my man's movement. Yeah, he, he are, he's already on the he's already on the, on the on boards. So yeah, um I got back and I caught a little like a little, like bug. And I finally got it up, got it up out of me, but it's not fully out of me. I can I can still feel a little something, something so but I had to had to drop this show for um a lot of a lot of reasons. Like like I said, man, people have been really on me. Like, yo, what's going on? And like I said, man, everything is marvelous. Um, show's doing well. The content is getting sharper. The material is getting better. And um, like I said, it's a show that just drops chronicles and drops re- drops receipts. So, um, getting everything together where we can just put a slew of shows out. So I will catch up on everything before the before the year's out because, you know, the show is a one year show, and I will be finishing it. And you will, cause I everything I set out to do, I, I do. So it, it take a minute, but trust me, we come in with all the episodes that you've missed since um July up into up into now. We're gonna uh, actually fill in those fill in those slots, but I'm excited because um man, I have this film um called A Year to Life, one of one of my short films, A Year to Life. Yo, it's killing the film festivals right now. Like yo, A Year to Life is doing its thing. Shout out to Nikki, man. Shout out to my girl Nikki Hevesy, man. Shout out to the whole, you know, cast and crew. Um, we doing very, very well. The film A Year, Year to Life, and um, that was the reason why I went to the I went to the East Coast because we had a, a film festival in New York, and um, we were in New York. The screening was the fourteenth of October. So, you know, I'm from New York, represent New York. There was no way I was gonna miss the New York Film Festival. Not one way. So, had to do what I had to do, and I had to um, tough it out and make sure I hit, I hit it up. So, I, I hit up NY. It was official, man. Like, I had a really, really, really good time just feeling the city. I ain't, because, you know, I don't really, you know, New York, if it's not work, I'm not, I'm not really going home because the reason why is when I started this journey in 97, 98 with this whole acting you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people slept on it. They slept on me. They slept on, you know, they slept on what can happen. They was worried about what couldn't happen. So, it ain't it ain't too much machine, you know, machine gun love. It's, it's, it's only a handful, but that's all you need is a handful because, you know. And, and I remember one time when I, when I first started, when I did the movie Belly, I remember when I when I seen the outcome of Belly, I was about to go back to the block, and I was like, "Man, this this is this is for the for the birds." But when um when I actually talked to one of one of one of my men, he told me he said, "Yo, man, you was only in Belly, and you was only in it for a minute." But he was like, "Man, think about how many people wasn't even attached to Belly. It wasn't even a part a part of Belly. 
And he was like, think about how many people wasn't a part of the Rough Rider Anthem video. Think about who wasn't even a part of the Hard Knock Life. You know, think about who wasn't a part of Cameron's Horse and Carriage, you know. Just think about who wasn't a model for Pastor Rock, you know. He was just dropping jewels, and I was like, wow. You're right. So I've, I've always taken everything serious from, like, day one. So any So anyway... New York was just, it was just really, really dope to just feel, you know what I'm saying, the city. The film did well in, 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 in the film festival, and um, man, we just really, like, it was, like I said, the film A Year to Life is really, is really impressing me, and it's doing very well. But I told people from day one, I told them, I said, yo, this film is going to do well. And they thought I was playing, and now we smashing the film festivals to pieces, and now they know I'm not. I'm not playing. Also, I gotta shout out somebody, man, on this episode because this is just like an update show, a bonus show. Let y'all know I'm still alive. Let y'all know I'm still well. Let you know the show is well. But here's what um, I'm excited about. Also, my main man, LBJ. Ah, oh, LBJ. He has just taking over scoring now those of you that don't know it's a big show coming about lbj because i did his first commercial in his rookie year commercial chalk and i told lebron on set I said you the next dude bro you him his rookie year i said yo you the next mj you next kobe you're gonna pass all these dudes you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do things that the nba has never seen before and i also, for the last 14, 15 years, I've been on so social media explaining to people what is going to happen. I say he is uh, he's going to break so many records in the NBA. He's going to break so many records of Kobe's and and um and Jordan's that he is literally going to really smash the game. And people thought I was fronting, but I got the receipts. That's what I love about social media. It has the receipts. Everything is there. Because once you post it, it leaves a upload date. It leaves an upload, you know, time and everything. So for those of you that's fronting, social media is going to always, always reveal you. And I've been telling y'all that LeBron was going to take this game over. So I'm super excited for him. Also, I want to shout out, um, you know, because I told y'all a long time ago, a lot of these podcasts are all the same. A lot of these podcasts is lame. And they really and they really are because a lot of podcasts that I cross paths with, they just talking about the universe. They just talking about politics. They're they talking about controversial things that are going to make you speak about them. <coughs> and that's just the truth. A lot, a lot of these shows. But. Um, there's some shows that I'm really impressed by and I'm blown away by. And one of those is, of course, my man, Killer Cam. You know what I'm saying? Killer, I mean, anything Killer, Killer Cam touch is official. Uh, me, me and Cam been rocking since the Horse and Carriage video. And I told him, you know, you was, you was official then. I've been a supporter of Cam from day one. But, yo, the Wallow and the Gilly, like the, the billion dollars worth of game. Yo, that's, that's really, like... Really, really impressive because the thing that bugs me out is that I've been posting for 15 years saying a lot of the same things that I'm hearing them say. That's impressive because I've called a lot of things that people thought I was crazy, but they have the same mentality and they listen to a lot of things, you know, like them, like um, he has this thing called message, message of the day. So one of my, one of my people hit me up and was like, yo, Mike Kell. Yo, this dude, if this dude don't remind me of you, bro, I don't know what. He's like, yo, he's he's been friends with me on social media forever. And he knows the stuff that I'll be posting and saying over over like the 15 years of being on social media. So he was one to introduce me to them. And I've been I've been impressed. I've been inspired. I've been pumped. It's just been like so much. And then just with my own content and my own material. Man, I'm blown away. Like, I still got my negatives from 97, 98. I still got my camcorder tapes from the very, very beginning. And the content is fire. The things that I've said, 
on these camcorder tapes because see look I like I told y'all before in the past I carried the camcorder with me for almost a two year period this is this is like well I did it strongly for a two year period like like 2004 2005 somewhere like that maybe 2006 but I carried it with me but I have footage and from like 2000 2000 2001 it starts and then it keeps it keeps going until now but y'all don't understand that's that's gonna be the you know it's the seller right right there so man excited life is good like i told y'all yesterday was thanksgiving i saw a lot of people complaining about thanksgiving i'm like don't y'all understand how many times i gotta tell you every day you wake up Every day you crack your eyes, no matter what you have or don't have, you are alive. And that is enough right there. That is just enough to be able to wake up. You winning. You got the W. You got the victory. So I'm thankful again every day, every single solidarity day. I'm thankful for the good, the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the whatever, the beauty of it. I'm here for it all and I'm thankful for it all. So whatever comes my way, it is what it is, man. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the receipts are official. So, man, I don't, I can't even complain about nothing. And that's what I continue to push is y'all need to stop complaining. So, yeah. Um, but right now, man, again, life is great. The show is great. Hey, yo. E, you want some more? You want some more to Stella Black? Yeah, that's yeah. It. <laughs> you need some more. Yo, y'all, shout out to Stella, Stella Rose Black because you know you can't be getting you can't be getting too um too loopy loopy because it just it just throws off your whole you know what I'm saying get get down because like I said lately I just been going through the computer. Hey, yo, E, fill that up. I just been going through the um going through the computer. And getting and getting all my you know what I'm saying JPEGs together, and getting all my MOVs together, like thinking I, I'm 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 gaining traction, and I ain't getting nowhere because I got folders and folders and folders and folders. As soon as I think I'm like yeah, I open up a folder and it was like ah oh, hell to the nine. Like how did I do this to myself? And let me and let me tell y'all how how how, how funny it is. Yo, this is how we keep it gangster. See, I had to get some ice, right? And, and my man E had ran out of ice, so he, he had some water bottles that was in the freezer that was frozen, so I had to make frozen ice. So your dog is right here going out the bowl on you, going out the bowl on him like a dog, like the bowl. You know how we do. Shout out to my man X. Yo, word is born. I miss my G. We, and right now, we, we, we watching X. We, we watching me in the Rough Rider Anthem video. And when I went to New York, I rocked the DMX. You know what I'm saying? The T-shirt. Shout out to my man. Mm. And it was all real. But but now, um, I want to want y'all to know, man, that the show is really inspiring me. And I'm just blown away, man, by all this content. So like I said, man, the computer e, I'm I'm really getting there, man. I'm, I'm I'm covering some real, some real, real, some real, real good, good ground, and I'm going through all my hard drives, getting all my drives together, getting everything labeled up, folded up. So it's look it's looking good, and I'm excited about the about the future, man. 2024 is looking um, it's looking amazing. I got got the born day coming up on Jan 4th. I'm turning the big five three. So, you know, power, five, plus three, understanding, equals eight, which is Bill. So, 2024, you know, that's all adds up to eight. So, it's Bill. So, the mathematics is, is aligning constantly. They're constantly aligning, you know. And, um, you know, this year was, you know, the, was, this year was like the God year. You know, I was five, two. You know what I'm saying? 2023. You know the mathematics was 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 line, lining up, and if I don't tell you that this year really showed me the God, it really it really brought out the God because it's a, it's a lot going going on. 
that um y'all definitely yo I ain't even see yo E's yo E's playing in the background he's playing video when he's playing the Rough Rider anthem and I just seen this DMX where the hood at this the first time I've ever seen this video I've never seen this video before until just now and see this is what this is when you don't have connections and you don't stay in touch with people because how did I let this get by me like, I don't care what I was doing I don't care where I was at I would have flew in for this like but I had no knowledge oh who's the director of this yo this is insane yo this is this is what's up this is kind of like Rough Rider Anthem on like steroids like this is crazy this is the dirty version mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, Rough Rider Anthem was, was was really official. I was supposed to have went and, and, and like and like did this some more scenes, but my man, but my man Dog, his pager was flaring, and he was showing me like, bro, look, we, we yo, we gotta we gotta go. And I was just like, man, I don't know why I left, but I left. And they went on to shoot some more Rough Rider Anthem, and then the following day, it was terrible with the whole my, one of my mans held me up instead of just telling me. Nah, I can't take you. He pulled some bullshit on me at the last minute. We ain't cool to this day. We ain't cool to this day behind that shit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I went in on him. Soon, soon as I seen him, like, yo, son. Yeah, it's it's the whole thing behind that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The series, the whole series to this, the whole series to the to this whole. You know what I'm saying? Pop off when this documentary come out, and people really know what's really going on behind the scene. Yeah, the, the, on the second day of the Rough Rider Anthem shoot. Was the actual prison was like to the jail the jail scene, and I had a ride there, so it was shooting like it was shooting like in the, like like so we in the, we in the IE, yeah. and it's shooting like in LA, yeah. so a nigga gonna tell me the last minute and and like the and like the IE, <laughs> like he can't go, yeah. cause of the pump or some shit like, yeah. and I could have been got to LA, if, you, if it wasn't to the last minute, into the last minute, and then they shooting at something like um what's that what's that park. Over there by Dodger Stadium, by like the, with, a, with a police stadium, where everybody be throwing bir- birthday parties. That's like a huge ass park. It's right over there by the Dodger Stadium. It's on the other side. Yeah, it's on the other side. It was, anyway, it's a big park in LA, y'all. Look yeah. up, l- look up Dodger Dodger Stadium and look up that public park next to it. And um, so they shooting the video in a park like that. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't like they shooting it like it like it, what like like where, where's that where's that park that like Shia LaBeouf be going to? Um, when he when he be coming to the hood to, 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 be, to, be, to be to be teaching the homies Echo acting, Park or something? No. you know Ec, I think Echo. No, it's not Echo Park, is it? I don't know. Look at, look up that. Who's that? One? Oh, that's you. Yo, um, nah. Look up the. Um, let me let me see. Hold up. I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's it's a park that's right by Dodger right by Dodger Stadium. Oh yeah, that park. I know. We were just talking. We were just talking about it. That shit is huge. That that park is big as big as hell. But what I'm saying is. That's where it was, um, but that's where the video shoot for Rough Rider Anthem was. It was in a park that was super big. It wasn't in a park that was like the one, like I said, where they teach Shia LaBeouf, with with Shia LaBeouf be going to teach y'all in, in, in the hood to act. Oh yeah, he did that at, at Slauson, Slauson, uh, the Slauson Wreck. Right now, that shit, you you right there, like <laughs> Slauson Wreck, right? You you right there, like what's up, homie? But the park I'm talking about, what's the name of it, homie? Look, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, shit. It's, we shooting at something like at something like that. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's, it's that big ass park. Cause they yeah. everybody be throwing like birthday like birthday parties in there. Cause when I when I, when I first moved when I first moved out here. Yeah, you could go. You could go exercising around here. Like, yeah, but like yeah, but when I first moved out here, is that it right there? That Monticello D. Luck is that it right there? Nah, I don't know. Nah, it's literally right there by it. Um, yeah. So and, yeah, at least in part, homie, it's right there. You tripping? Yeah. So look, so it was a, it was a, it was a part like Elysian Park. Part. That's, what we, we, that's what we did. Uh, the fucking comedy breakdancing movie. Oh, uh, which one? Uh, where were the thugs? The comedy breakdancing movie. Yeah. I wasn't in that, was I? Yeah. We nah. Shot goons. We kidnapped the girl. Oh, we shot it at another park. No, we no. shot it. Oh, that was that was called stupid stupid hype. That was at Elysian Park. Yeah, but it was in a part where it wasn't like that was a part where like you when you go do the uchi kuchi, <laughs> or like a part where you go when you when you when you, when you go give somebody the bang bang, and you put, and you wrap them up. Yeah, that's the part that we shot at. Uh, but the but the part I'm talking about is a real social part where like the yeah the barbecues right and all that. Yeah, we shot it wasn't no barbecue girls. <laughs> 
Yo, that's crazy. He used to, he used to talk about um, shout out to Stu Stupid Hype, um, CW. We did this, um, you know what I'm saying, Wilson Bethel, uh, my man, um, John uh, um, Hugh Heredis, um, Rochelle Yates. Um, yeah, we did a, a shoot with them called Stupid Stupid Hype, and he was talking about we shot it in the same park, and he's actually right, but we shot it like way up to the top. And um, well, I'm talking about so, any, so, any, so anyway, yeah, man, one of my um, one of my one of my people's fronted. And he got me stuck. By the time I made it to the actual shoot, by the time I made it to like the actual part of the park to find find them, I had to get a ranger to give me a ride in the in the vehicle, all kind of stuff. It was just terrible. It was over. Like I literally made it there and it was over. Like like they was packing up they was packing up the shit. Yeah, son. Yeah, so when I so when I had seen him, when I had seen him, yo, it went down. Yeah, this the shit went down. I seen him. It was it, it was on site. It was on site. I was on his head on site. And it was crazy because everybody kept trying to break it up. And they kept just, like, getting to me where I couldn't get to him. And I'm looking at them like, really? Yeah. Like, y'all niggas going to just not mind y'all business? Like, y'all y'all going to really play, like, Super Bowl? Like, don't let this nigga score. Like, really? Like, y'all really about to do that? Yeah, it was it was really, really ugly. But I ain't appreciate it because son needed, he needed to get served. But nah. Um, yeah, man, the Rough Rider Anthem video was just, it was, it was insane. But that... Yeah, but that but but with that shoot you just showed me where the hood at dirty part. That's insane right there, man. That's insane. So yeah, so yeah, y'all. Um man, life is good. Mm. And I'm excited about this this year coming. Yo, where that um where that where that lighter at? Oh, I got it. So yeah, I'm just excited about this year coming. And um I'm excited about everything. That um, that we bring into the to, to the table. Look out, oh, man! The show, the next the the, the, the next show is, is going to be off. Let me see, let me see that lighter. The next show is gonna is gonna be off the chain as far as the next production. But we, we're gonna, we're going to finish this one because I I want to establish this show to show the whole world the chronicles. You know what I mean? To show how we took this from. From the bottom to the top, I started in the mud. And again, man, shout out to Bron Bron, man. That's just that's just amazing what he has done. And I'm really excited that I was really behind him from day one. But um, also, shout out to, like I said, Nikki. The, the, the film, A Year to Life. That's, that film is in, is in crazy. It's just going, it's going, it's going down. And I told him, man, I always know how to call those projects from day one. I can tell when something's gonna be fire, and I never miss. I never miss, man. So, man, I hope everybody out there is continuing to be thankful, man, because that's all it's about. Being thankful every day. Like I said, I saw a lot of people posting poorly on social media about how just how Thanksgiving was not. You know, it was just it was just in a negative place, and I'm just like. That's all a state of mind, like, because as a human being, you only have two natures. You have a negative nature, you have a positive nature. So if you trick yourself to believe the negative one and you feed into the negative one and you're going to look at Thanksgiving like it's just a bad or whatever. Manifest. Yeah, you're going to manifest it. So, But if you also look at it from positive, like, you know what, I might not be with the family I want to be with. I might not have the family I want. I might not be where I want to be or whatever. But you know what? I'm still alive. I'm thankful for that. You look at the things you're thankful for. And that's, like I said, being alive. Because some people can can survive. You don't realize what the human body can do by just having faith. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's people out here that eat one time a day. And they eat vegetarian style. They eat potatoes. They eat lettuce they eat tomatoes they eat a vegetarian lifestyle they eat rice they eat beans because they can't afford the means of having chicken and steak and salmon and things like that but they still make it happen they eat salad you know they drink water they can't drink juice they can't drink apple juice or orange juice or things like that because it's just not what they what they have right right now so you, you can actually survive because see me being 52 I've been able to see Different generations And I've seen people I remember people In the 70s and 80s They didn't have nothing And they really made it They looked great They had great lifestyles You know And they really was poor But they were rich So that's why people now 
I'll be like, man, y'all shut up, man. You, man, you good. You can go to the food bank. You can go get stamps, man. You can go. There's so many things you can do right now. If you, if you starving now and you live in 2023, you can, if you hearing this and you starving, the people you know starving, you are tripping because there are so many resources. We entitled. Yeah, we entitled. <laughs> also, shout out to um to those parents that's really putting in putting in the work. Because I've been looking around in my friends and families and in my different circles, and um, man, I'm really it's it's not even funny anymore. But in different circles, in different people's lifestyles, I can tell the difference in the raising of children. Seriously, and I'm seeing the results of it in, in every generation. But the biggest thing that I'm seeing in this generation now, I got some family members. Well, not even family. They just attached to me. And you know it's kids that's three years old and four years old and they're still in Pampers. <laughs> Yo, this is really going down right now. Yo, this is really going down. But they know how to rock every every um, pad. They know how to rock every every device. But they can't say, I got to go boo boo. <laughs> They know the lyrics to everything. Oh, man. Yo. Not, and, man. and then they talk about, well, someone's, well, they in pull-ups. It's the same thing, man. Like, you even under, pull-ups is for nighttime. Pull-ups is for when you go to bed at night. Yeah. They're not for everyday wear. <laughs> Yo, dog, listen. Honestly, a year and a half, that's, that's the, that's the cutoff. <laughs> That's the cutoff. A year and a half. A year and a half, bro. That's the cutoff. You got to go to the party. You got to go to the party. Two years? All right. He is, all right. He's he special. But after two two years? Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Come say it. Look. Yo, E. A year and a half. A year and a half is cool. If you two years, okay, he's special. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> He or she is special. There's nothing wrong with licking the licking the windows. There's nothing wrong with licking the windows. There's nothing wrong. I mean, a lot of people that, that lick the windows are now CEOs. I'm serious. There's a lot of people that was licking licking the window. That's a CEO right now. So there's nothing wrong with there's nothing wrong with the, with, 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 with nothing wrong with the, with, the, with the happy class. There's nothing wrong with none of that. It's all cool. But at the two year mark, okay, you gotta let them think. You got you gotta put you gotta put them in them undies. I mean, look, it goes for it goes for both. Like, like, like I said, I'm, I'm just seeing it more blatant now than ever. For real, it's something that, like, because I'm attached to. I have a big family, and I have a big, like, you know, I have, you know, I have exes. I have a lot of people that I know that are tied into a lot of family, and I'm seeing different trends in different families. By different lifestyles, by different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's really something that's serious. And we need to take advantage of that because we have to break generational curses. The reason I'm, the reason I'm saying all that is just to lead into we have to break generational curses, honestly. Because those are out of, those are out of control. So I've just been seeing a lot, a lot of that. So ho- hopefully in 2024... People would start taking things more more serious, and then one of my um one of my peoples had something that was a really really good um good 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 shout out to my man New Wave shout out to um you know what I'm saying my man you know what I'm saying Pasad you know Pasadino boy R R G shout out to my man Swaggy D shout out to the whole New Wave man like they have a they have a podcast that's just like billion dollars worth of game it's really hitting you know what I'm saying so I'm a, I'm a actually going gonna put that in the um. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Now you gotta you got you gotta you gotta go to my Facebook and you gotta look up um you gotta look them look them up on there. But it's, it's cause there's so many new waves, you gotta spell it uh, N U. It's like it's spelled new new wave N U, but it's the um it's like R G Pasadena boy in them. Yeah, new wave and you gotta put in podcast, new wave, it's gonna come up. But um but yeah, man, they had a um they had an episode where they was talking about two things that was funny. One was um now you gotta put it in you. 
It's it's gonna be new with the like the with just with like the N and the U. They they had a podcast where they was talking about um when they was talking about yeah there it is shop talk. Yep, new, new it's called New Wave Shop 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 Talk. Shout out to the homies. What's good? Yeah, so they got the uh, so E they got this one episode they was talking about um <coughs> you getting beat up and <laughs> you got your girl with you you want her to jump in or not. <laughs> Yo, they, they be wildin', right? They, they was talking about this one where they was talking about um, Pasadena Sean. What's up, homie? And they was talking about um, where he said, he said, check this out. He said, um, is it? Is it? He said, when it, when when it, when somebody when a when a kid is eighteen, are they are they ready to like for you to as a parent to put them out? You know what I'm saying? Like eighteen, are you ready? And I was like, nah, because they're not equipped to fight this this system of thing that we live in right now. You have to be swift with, like, knowing how to spend money. You got to be swift with knowing how to, like, coupon. Like, I know a lot of people that be couponing, saving mad money. And I know people that don't coupon, and they be broke. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of little tricks that, that you need. And, 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 and 18? Hell to the nah. You don't know none of that. Because it, cause it, 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 it took you almost four years old to get out of Pampers. <laughs> so how you going to know at 18... You know how to how to shop and how to save money, and how to like nah. You don't know none of that. You got to learn all that, and that comes with being with family and like I said. So anyway, yeah, trial and error. But you got to stay home for that. Like you just can't do that. Like you just can't. So so nah. I just wanted to um just like touch on that. But nah, like I said, this show was just to let everybody know that all is well. Um. Just focused on this 2024, focused on getting these shows together so we can um, finish this year strong because this is a one year show that, you know, started on March. So it's going to it's going to end in February. It's a one year show. It talks about the Chronicles as me being an actor for 25 years. It goes through all my film, TV commercials and things of that nature. And we will be dropping episode 11 and it will be coming and you will be getting back to speed. But for those of you that have missed me, I missed y'all too. I'm just a Capricorn. I'm a perfectionist, and I just don't like throwing out stuff. Sagittarius. I know Sagittarius month is official, but um, but yeah, man, I'm just living um every every day, being thankful. Um, got a lot going going on, and um, I'm just staying focused with everything. And um, yeah, there's a lot that I can't really speak on. Legally, but my hands are full, and um, yeah, everything is going in the right direction, and um, and you will, of course, know when the time is right. But um, some of y'all already know, and some of y'all don't know. But for those of you that don't know, don't worry, it's all good. For those of you that know, it's all good. So, um, what else, man? I'm gonna hit on this before I get up out of here. Um, LeBron, proud of you. So, so proud of you, LeBron. Um, self, meaning uh, me, myself, and I. I'm proud of you. And um, like I said, y'all, it's coming, man. This episode 11, work with me, cause they're gonna come like 11, 12. That is gonna come, bang, 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 bang. It's gonna come out of nowhere. Y'all gonna be like, oh, there they go. And they just going to just flood the scene. So until then, stay focused. Please stay focused. Um, Just hang in there, man. I'm telling y'all. Like, the same actions y'all have throughout the holidays, man. What is the holiday spirit? There's no such thing. Have those same actions year, year round. So all this November, December, January holiday spirit, why not have the everyday spirit? So let, let 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 just let that spirit, you know, res- resonate daily. Like, why can't you let that resonate daily, and do that twenty four seven three sixty five? Because again, you only have two two natures. You have a negative nature. You have a positive nature. Feed that positive nature, and you will always, constantly reap the results of positivity. And also be grounded enough to just overstand. That things are not going to change overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
there are some things that can change overnight. There's some things that take a process. There's some things that just take time. It ain't going to just go like a light switch. There's a lot of things that's like a, it's like a, it's like a dimmer. You know what I'm saying? Some, some of y'all don't know about that. You know, y'all only got the light switch that go on and off. Well, there's another one that's a little circle one that you turn and it goes brighter and dimmer and brighter and dimmer. So, you know, sometimes it's, it's, it's going to be like a, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be like that one. And that's what it, and also shout out to um to all you people that um you know there's some people that really drive with the seatbelt off and the car be like telling you like ding 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 it's like it's just like yo like yo the car's telling you what is wrong with you like turn the thing off like and then there's people that's out that's out here with Weak batteries in your smoke detector. That's really irritating. Like it's just like whether you're on the phone or whether you're there in the person, you look at the person like, yo, really? Like you're not gonna change the um the thing? Like, come on, man. And shout out to um also I got a shout out. Yo, let me tell you what I caught up on re recently. A show that I'm really a, a like I I love this show because this show teaches me about people more than anything can ever teach me about people in the world. My show, Catfish. Y'all been, oh, been catching up on Catfish. Ah, oh, yo, yo, Cammy, Yo, Cammy's fine, son. The host is like, yo, son, she's like, woof. Yo, E, she done got fine. I'm talking about over the seasons. Shout out, yo, Cammy Cam, what's up, baby? Yeah, you official. But um, but Neve, yo, you such a psychiatrist. You're such a host, yo. It's just like, man, you are something else. But um, but yeah, shout out to Catfish, and um, shout out the whole host and everybody, and shout out to all y'all. Just keep, I said, keep, just keep maintaining. Now you gotta put Catfish MTV. Yeah, there it is, right there. Um, yo, where that where that lighter go? Cause mine, cause mine, mine got wet. Mine, it, it fell into my bowl. It fell right into my bowl with my um with my ice. Yeah, I had to use a bowl for ice. Cause my man, my man E didn't have the ice tray. He got the flower rubber ice trays. Yeah, and mm -mm. And he didn't even have them for me. But he had like I said, he had a couple of bottles of ice and I went and I, and I wrapped it in two in two plastic bags and I went outside and smashed it up. And I had it. So I poured it in my bowl like a DOG. And there it is. But you know what DOG spelled the other way is? Brat, brat, brat. Mm hmm. Oh, that tastes good. Stella. Shout out to Stella Black. Yo, Stella Black, shout out to you. Um, I want to shout out my cuz, Big Meat. You know what I'm saying? In the ATL, you know how we do, man. Zone six. We all we all about that paper. And um, you know what I'm saying, Glenwood for life. Shout out everybody in um new you know what I'm saying, New York, my man, my man, my man dog. Gotta shout him out. Gotta shout my my shout my my cousin out, Gerard. G Rod was was good. Um, man, life. I said right now, personally, yeah, I, I gotta wait on it. Don't worry, it's all it's all coming. Twenty twenty four, all the personal coming. Right, right now, I'm just saying, um, man, reconstruction is the science to production, and um, that's what's gonna always always be a constant, man. Just just maintaining, adding on, and building, and um, man, like I said, big things is going on. And um, everything is coming coming together. So um, I'm gonna catch y'all. Trust me, there will not be another update show. <laughs> it will be episode 11. This is the last update show. Um, like I said, things have been really li lining up. Um, I've been inspired by the um, by the film A Year to Life. Nikki just really inspired me because I I have a short a short film. But I'm re I'm revamping it to make it a thirty. I'm not happy with a ten minute. It's, it was intense. It was in it was an award winning short in 2016, 
and a 10 minute short was effective then but this is 2024 so i gotta get that 30 minute that 30 minute cut and then i can can then i can go for these film festivals but i'm not making no film festival run with no 10 minute cut it's just not happening i'm not i'm 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 i'm, I'm too like og for that so um yeah coming with that third with that 30 minute cut look you know so look for that and um i got, I got this i got i got this pictorial book coming uh all the pictures i've been taking on set pictures of everybody from x to nas to the whole rough rider the whole cam everything man like started 97 98 99 started flicking it up 97 98 99 Got all the um, negative digitized, and um, you know we're just making those th- those kind of moves right now, digitizing all this footage and just getting everything together, so I can get my bread, man. Cause so many people have been getting my bread, and I don't appreciate that, man. Like it's been so much bread got from my swag, from my style, from so many different man. Just don't worry, it's all coming back full circle. So y'all keep y'all head up. Stay special forces. E- even if you're private, just think special forces, man. And um, next, it's all about the next, next, next level. And man, make sure y'all definitely um check out from the pilot all the way up into episode ten. It's some real important content throughout. I mean, even from the trailer, everything, man. Just from so while you waiting on episode eleven, make sure you tap in everything that's already up. So I see you at episode eleven. Stay focused. Mr. Real to Real, 2024. Let's go. Let's go. My adrenaline, how will not lose? Battlefield certified, I done paid dues. My adrenaline, my drive non stop. Street game battle test, spread my name block to block. My adrenaline, rise to the top. Warm bread champion, cream of the crop. My adrenaline, pushes around the clock get go smoke throw swagged out top notch thank you for tuning in to the realest podcast of 2023 where everything i speak you can go to the gram the tube the top and check my receipts it's all real to real every week hottest chronicles realest topics incredible untold stories plus knowledge on top of street smarts down to blue collar hard work it's all here tune in every week I'm selling straight motivation mixed with hope. Tune into the next show and listen to them all over and over and over again. And it's going to be clear. I am him and him is me. Mr. Real to Real podcast with Mike Kelsey.